The next electronic troubleshooting issue we're going to cover is a complaint of no resistance. First thing you want to do is, of course, remove your side cover to uh, show the relay board. You want to get your meter out, as I have it here, and you want to set it to volts. Once you have that set to volts, the first thing you want to do is you want to come up to your relay board here, and you're looking for two test points. The first one is your ground black, which here, take your test lead, put it into the hole. The next thing is, is you want to take your red test lead, and you want to put it into the connector where it's, the brown wire goes in. Once you do that there, I'm going to have my assistant here, Tom, come over, and I want him to hit the increase button on the console. We're looking for voltage here on this, these connection points. As you see here, we get 10.5 volts. If you get 10.5 volts, that means that your connection is, is good. Um, the next thing you want to do, if you had received no volts there, um, you want to check your cables, and ultimately you would replace your console if you received no power there. Since we did get power there, we need to move to our next connection point. The next thing we want to test is, is we have an issue with the freewheeling of the stairs. So that for that test there, you want to take your leads. Of course, you want it on volts. You want to take your black into your test uh, point, the ground. Stick it there. The next one, you want to take your red lead, and you want to put it on your tack. You want to hold it there on your tack. And I'm going to ask Tom to assist me with this, and we want to rotate the stairs. Right there, we got volts on there. That tells you that that's good, that you're getting, you're getting power across there. So if you're getting power across there with the, stair, with the staircase rotating, um, that means that's good. You're, you have the power there. If you had received no power there, the thing you would do is you would replace the uh, alternator brushes inside the alternator if you had received no voltage across those two test points. The next component that we want to test for a no resistance issue will be the load resistor. As you can see in here, we have a large load resistor across here. You have two wires, one, three wires connect to it. On one side, you have your B positive, which is your white wire, and you have your black ground wire on this side. We want to check for an ohm reading across there, and you're looking for about 0.5 to 0.7 ohms. Take your leads. You want to put your red lead to the, to the white wire in the back. You want to take your black lead across the back, black connection here, and you're checking for, like I said, about 0.5 to 0.7 ohms, and we're getting a 0.7 ohm reading on our meter. Let me show you that again. You're getting a 0.7 reading. That tells you there that your load resistor is good on this test. So if you're having a no resistance issue, you just verify that your load resistor is good, so that component is good, so you would know that that checked across fine. 